Breaking, Trump just responded to Kathy Griffin's sick death threats. What he said will ruin her life. President Donald Trump said Wednesday left-wing comedian Kathy Griffin should be ashamed of herself for posing with his bloody, severed head in a widely condemned photo. Kathy Griffin should be ashamed of herself. My children, especially my 11-year-old son, Baron, are having a hard time with this. Sick. Trump tweeted Wednesday morning. TMZ first obtained the photo, taken by photographer Tyler Shields, on Tuesday and published a short video of Griffin posing with Trump's severed head. This is fake blood, just so you know. I won't give away what we're doing, but Tyler and I are not afraid to do images that make noise, Griffin said on the tape. The beheading video was inspired by Trump insulting former Fox News host Megyn Kelly, Griffin told a blogger. I captioned this there was blood coming out of his eyes, blood coming out of his dot wherever also at Tyler Shields great photog, filmmaker, Griffin tweeted on Tuesday. Obviously, I do not condone any violence by my fans or others to anyone, ever. I'm merely mocking the mocker-in-chief. After an explosive backlash, Griffin deleted her tweets and posted an Instagram video saying she went way too far. I'm a comic, she said. I cross the line. I move the line, then I cross it. I went way too far. The image is too disturbing. I understand how it offends people. It wasn't funny. I get it. I've made a lot of mistakes in my career, I will continue. CNN called the beheading photo disgusting but did not definitely state Griffin would be prevented from co-hosting New Year's Eve coverage. We found what she did disgusting and offensive. We are pleased to see she has apologized and asked that the photos be taken down. We are evaluating our New Year's Eve coverage and have made no decisions at this point, CNN said in a statement. In a statement, flashback, Kathy Griffin loved Trump when she benefited from relationship. Before washed-up comedian Kathy Gifford was making terroristic threats towards the President of the United States, she was working with Donald Trump in business. AOL reported. Most episodes of The Apprentice end inside Donald Trump's boardroom, with him pointing and tersely saying, you're fired. To a contestant. This week, however, began in the boardroom with Liza Machiru Wisner getting fired and losing her chance at becoming The Apprentice. There are no losers, Trump told Liza, referring to the boost the show will give her career. You did a fantastic job. This week's episode ended with a cliffhanger and we have to wait until next week to hear, you're hired. Brandy Grinsel and Clint Robertson are now competing for the grand prize, a job with the Trump Organization. I'm going to have to bring my A-game to beat her, said Clint. This is one of the largest battles of my life, Brandy said. Trump brought the finalists to his Trump National Golf Club in Westchester, New York. The contestants had to stage either a dinner gale for 500 followed by a Liza Minnelli concert or a golf tournament for 120 with comedian Kathy Griffin. This was a huge promotional deal for Griffin and she can be seen in the pic above being chummy with Mr. Trump. So fake, so fake, 